Hello there, wanderers of the world. Welcome to our new subscribers, and if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that button right away. We're thrilled you've joined us on this exciting journey. Today, we're venturing into the heart of South America to uncover 10 things that you'll only find in the fascinating country of Uruguay. From unique foods to captivating cultures, we've got an unforgettable journey planned. So strap in, friends, and let your curiosity guide you. Now, are you ready to dive into the heart of South America and discover Uruguay? Uruguay might be small, but its culture is rich and unique. Let's start with the national drink, the mate. This traditional South American drink, brewed from the leaves of the yerba mate plant, is more than just a beverage. It's a symbol of hospitality and friendship. In Uruguay, sharing a mate is a social ritual that transcends age and status. It's not uncommon to see friends, families, and even strangers passing around a gourd, each taking turns to sip the bitter yet invigorating drink. And it's not just for special occasions. From morning till night, Uruguayans carry their mate kit, a thermos, a gourd, and a metal straw called a bombilla. Like a cherished companion, it's a part of their daily life, a constant reminder of their community spirit and their love for simple pleasures. So, when you visit Uruguay, don't be surprised if you see people carrying their mate kit everywhere. Now let's talk about food, and specifically about the Chivito sandwich. This isn't just any sandwich, folks. The Chivito is a carnivorous delight, an Uruguayan staple that'll have your taste buds dancing the tango. Picture this, a tender, juicy steak cooked to perfection, nestled between two slices of soft, warm bread. But that's just the beginning. The Chivito is a symphony of flavors, with each ingredient playing its part. Add a layer of creamy mozzarella, a slice of succulent ham, a perfectly fried egg, and a dash of mayo. Don't forget the fresh lettuce, ripe tomatoes, and tangy olives. They add a refreshing crunch that balances out the richness. The Chivito is more than just a sandwich. It's a testament to Uruguay's love for hearty, soulful food. It's a celebration of simple ingredients coming together to create something truly extraordinary. So, if you ever find yourself in Uruguay, Make sure you try this culinary masterpiece. Who knew a sandwich could be a national symbol, right? From January to late February, Uruguay transforms into a land of carnivals. A time when the air is filled with pulsating rhythms, the streets burst into a kaleidoscope of color, and the spirit of revelry takes over the country. Uruguay boasts of having the longest carnival season in the world, spanning over 40 days. This grand celebration is not just about fun and frolic, but it's also a reflection of the nation's rich cultural heritage and diversity. A unique feature of the Uruguayan carnival is candombe, a mesmerizing Afro-Uruguayan music and dance form. The hypnotic beats of the drums echo through the streets as performers swirl in vibrant costumes, their bodies moving in rhythm with the music. The carnival is also a stage for murgas, satirical musical theater performances that are a commentary on social and political issues. So, if you love music, dance, and vibrant colors, make sure to visit Uruguay during carnival season. In Uruguay, football is not just a sport, it's a religion. It's a passion that courses through the veins of every Uruguayan. The national team, affectionately known as La Celeste, or the Sky Blues, has an impressive resume that would make any football aficionado sit up and take notice. From the bustling streets of Montevideo to the tranquil pastures of Tacuarembo, the love for football is palpable. The pride of the nation, La Celeste, has twice brought home the coveted World Cup, a feat that resonates with every Uruguayan's heart. Their football prowess doesn't stop there. With a staggering 15 Copa America titles under their belt, Uruguay has proven time and time again that they are a force to be reckoned with on the pitch. The fervor for the game runs deep, binding the nation together in a shared pride and love for their team. Yes, Uruguay might be small, but when it comes to football, they're giants. Uruguay's countryside is the heartland of the iconic gaucho culture. This is a culture steeped in tradition and history, where the horse-riding, cattle-rearing gaucho is not just a figure of the past, but a living symbol of Uruguay's rural life. The gaucho's roots run deep, tracing back to the early colonial period, when cattle roamed freely across the vast pampas. The gaucho played a crucial role in taming this wild land, and their influence is still felt today in Uruguay's love for the outdoors, horse riding, and of course its world-renowned beef. The gaucho's lifestyle is characterized by simplicity and a deep connection with nature. Their traditional attire, complete with bombachas, loose trousers, and the emblematic beret, 
is still worn with pride, especially during folkloric celebrations. Their music, folk dances, and tales of bravery and valor are integral components of Uruguay's cultural identity. The gaucho culture is truly the soul of Uruguay's countryside. Now, let's talk about one of Uruguay's most famous landmarks, the Hand in the Sand. This unusual sculpture, known as La Mano, is located on the beaches of Punta del Este. Created by Chilean artist Mario Irarazabal, it's a powerful symbol of man's helplessness against the might of nature. Five fingers, partially submerged, seem to claw at the sky, a poignant reminder of the dangers of swimming in turbulent waters. It's definitely one of those sights that make you stop and think. Did you know that Uruguay also has a deep-rooted love for tango? Yes, it's true. The tango is as much a part of Uruguay as it is of Argentina, its more famous neighbor. The sultry dance form, characterized by its passionate movements and complex footwork, holds a special place in the heart of Uruguayans. In fact, the tango is so deeply intertwined with the country's culture that it has been recognized as part of Uruguay's intangible cultural heritage. It's not just about the dance itself, but the music, the lyrics, the stories they tell, the emotions they evoke. Every step, every note, every word is a reflection of the Uruguayan spirit, passionate, vibrant, and deeply emotional. From the traditional malongas, where everyone, young and old, come together to dance to the annual tango festivals that draw enthusiasts from around the world, tango is everywhere in Uruguay. It's a dance, it's a culture, it's a way of life. In Uruguay, tango is not just a dance, it's a way of expressing emotions. Last but not least, let's talk about Uruguay's progressive policies. This small country is a trailblazer in Latin America, frequently leading the way with its liberal laws and policies. Uruguay was the first country in the region to legalize same-sex marriage and abortion, and it's also a leader in transgender rights. And let's not forget, Uruguay was the first country in the world to fully legalize the production, sale, and consumption of marijuana. These progressive policies aren't just for show. They have a real impact on the quality of life in Uruguay. They foster a culture of tolerance and acceptance, and they contribute to Uruguay's reputation as one of the most democratic and least corrupt countries in Latin America. It's a testament to the Uruguayan belief in human rights and social justice. Uruguay might be small, but it's a country that's always looking forward. And there you have it, 10 unique things about Uruguay, from the mate culture, the Chivito sandwich, to the exuberant carnivals. The football fervor, the iconic gaucho culture, the unusual Punta del Este hand, the love for tango, and the progressive policies. Each of these elements paints a vibrant picture of what makes Uruguay stand out on the world stage. So, are you ready to pack your bags and explore Uruguay? Don't forget to subscribe for more travel insights around the globe.